So today we're looking at the Izeki TLE 4550 tractor. This is a 55 horsepower open platform tractor with a mechanical transmission. So it's got three separate ranges and four gears within each range, giving you 12 possible forwards and reverse speeds. This is a great machine for professional users. We see these going into golf courses and contractors and those kind of areas. But we also see quite a few going into equestrian, top end of that homeowner market. People who've got quite a lot of area that they're maintaining and need a big, powerful mechanical tractor such as this. So I'm really looking forward to telling you more about that as we go through this video. So the heart of every tractor is the engine and transmission. We're going to start off by having a look at the engine. So to open the hood here, pull that down with a little tool, open it up, and this gives you the view of the engine here. So this is one of our own Izeki engines. Uh, it's a four-cylinder uh, engine, obviously stage five, as all the machines are uh, these days, just over 2.4 litres of displacement. And because it's such a big, powerful engine, we only have to spin it at 2,600 revs per minute to get that 55 horsepower. You see quite a lot of other machines where they've got a much smaller displacement engine, and then they have to really thrash it to get the power out of it. But that's not the Izeki way. We have big engines, and then we turn them slowly, and that can lead to lower vibration, lower fuel use, and easier on the operator and on the tractor itself. However, it's not enough just to have this wonderful, big, powerful engine. We also want to make it so it's easy for you to do your routine and daily maintenance. Now, right at the front there, you can see very easy access to the battery if you need to jumpstart somebody else's tractor. Uh, and here you can see the dipstick, again, very easily uh, available and accessible. You might also notice the petrol, the diesel tank is here. Yeah. It's a 53 litre uh, fuel tank, which gives you all day running, but also a lovely big cap there, and it's very low down. So if you're filling this from jerry cans, it's much easier to get to than if the fuel cap is much higher up. So obviously we've got to keep that uh, big, wonderful engine cool as it's out there working uh, in the fields. Uh, so you can see we've got a big radiator at the front there and also an oil cooler. And then again, just as one of the daily maintenance, we've also got a chaff screen there, just knock that out and it just keeps the radiator nice and clean so it can keep the engine cool. So other routine maintenance that you might be doing, you can see, air cleaners here, so you can get at that very easily. Just undo those clips to pull the air cleaner out so you can give it a, a, give it a tap out. Uh, you can see the filters here, oil, hydraulic, fuel. Again, everything really easy to get at for those routine maintenance tasks. So I'm now in the seat of the tractor. It's very comfortable. Everything seems very ergonomically laid out. And as I look at the dash ahead of me, obviously we've got the rev counter there and a fuel uh, indicator to show you how much uh, diesel you've got left. Then very simple in terms of what uh, other levers we've got here. This is forward and reverse. That's how the transmission works. You throw the lever forward, you go forwards, pull the lever back and you go backwards. Traditional uh, little lever box here, which does your indicators and lights. And then we can turn the rear PTO on here. Obviously the throttle is here as well. So a very simple, easy layout straight ahead of you as you're sitting in the driver's seat. So let's have a look at the controls that are got down the left hand side of this uh, tractor here. So obviously clutch here, I can press down uh, with my foot there, easy to get up. Parking brake is just down there. Then you've got the two levers here. This first one back here is the range. So I've got high speed, really slow and medium on the range here. So I can move that back and forth uh, to pick up the range that I need for the overall setting my forward and reverse speed. And then within that, I've got four gears that I can pick. So we've got three ranges, four gears, and then forwards and reverse. So that gives me 12 forward speeds and 12 reverse speeds. I can also, there's another little lever here that I can pull up and that puts the tractor into four wheel drive. Obviously the machine itself is naturally in two wheel drive, but we can add four wheel drive by pulling up the lever here. And then the final lever we've got this side is for the PTO. So when it's pushed back like that, the PTO is free to turn. So if you're hooking on the PTO shaft, that's making that movie. When I want to engage it, I push that forwards. And then obviously the actual activation is the switch that's on the dashboard there. So nice and clean, easy to use down the left-hand side of the machine. So let's have a look at the controls down the right-hand side 
of the machine here. So starting with the foot controls, I've got a uh, throttle here that I can operate with my foot as well as the hand throttle that you saw on the uh, dashboard area. Obviously split brakes. I've also got a diff lock switch that I can engage there. So if I was in really bad traction areas, I can not just have four wheel drive, I can actually engage the diff as well. Moving to the hand controls that we've got down the right hand side of the machine here. This lever here is going to lift and lower the rear linkage. And actually there's a control down here just under the seat and I can adjust how quickly uh, the linkage is going to go up and down as I, as I lift it there. I've also got one double acting spool valve that comes at standard, but you may notice that there's another slot here. That is if you wanted to have a draft control lever, if you were doing plowing or stuff like that, that's an optional accessory. And there's also uh, slots here for two more double acting spool valves that again are available as optional extras. So we come now to the rear of the machine. A couple of things kind of jump out at you as you look at it from this angle. Obviously we have the rocks here. You may also notice as well that we can actually fold that down. So when you go to store this machine, you can fold the rocks down, drive it into a low shed or a container or something like that. So it makes it much easier for storage. Also, what seems to jump out at you as you look at it from this angle is the tyres. Now, we've got this with its turf tyres on. We'll uh, do some shots with it later on with the ag tyres on as well. But you can see how wide these are. This really spreads the weight of the machine over a large area, which reduces compaction. and means when you're using like an aerator or a cedar, something like that on the back, you're really spreading that weight over a much larger area. These are great tyres. To reduce compaction. So moving on to the uh, three-point linkage here, this is a Cat 1 uh, three-point linkage on the back of this uh, tractor. We have 1.2 tonnes of lift at the ball ends, so 1.1200 kilos and a thousand kilos of lift 24 inches behind the balls. So if you imagine that the machine itself you're hanging on the back tends to hang out here, we've got a tonne of lift two foot behind the ball ends, which is a significant amount of lift for a tractor of this size. So you may notice that we've got a little yellow button here, and obviously yellow is something to do with the PTO system. And in this instance, what it does is it enables you to turn on that PTO from here rather than from the seat. Now that's ideal for if you've got a chipper or a splitter, something like that where you need to be around the actual machine that's on the back of the tractor rather than in the tractor seat. And it's a really handy thing to have on a tractor like this. So you can also use this machine for towing. Uh, now actually this one hasn't got its tow hitch fitted, but it goes into the little clevis there. And from there you can tow a three and a half ton braked trailer. And just to make it easy for you as well, we've also got the lighting uh, attachment there. So you can just plug in your light board from your trailer. It's all wired in, part of the road legal system that there is on, on this tractor. So it's been great going through the controls. We've looked at the engine, we've looked at the rear end of the machine, but let's go, uh, let's go play with it. And we've hung a, an overseeder on the back here. We're gonna put some seed down on some of these walkways here. Uh, so for this, I'm gonna put it in high range. I think uh, second gear will be fine. Uh, I've got to take the handbrake off, and then you put forwards, and now we should be off. Let's lower the cedar. Makes a bit of a screeching noise, but we'll just kind of come along here. Lovely, quiet engine on this machine. And also, I'm just, it feels just absolutely effortless. Uh, just going along this area here, just want to get that in. A little bit of a squeak from the over cedar there, but. We'll ignore that. The tractor itself isn't making any unpleasant noises. It's just easy, isn't it? Totally effortless for this kind of application. So if you're seeding, aerating, all kinds of different possible applications you've got here. So you can see we've uh, changed the tyres now. We're onto the ags. Uh, so you remember before we were showing it on, uh, on the turf. So now we moved on to the ag tyres. And we've done that because we can do some stone burying on this field here. Uh, so we're actually going to put a path through the middle and put down some grass seed. This stone bearer has actually got a cedar attachment on it as well. This is a Muratori uh, stone bearer and cedar attachments that we all also actually sell as Izeki UK. Okay, so enough talking. We're going to go and uh, give this a go. Okay, so clutch down to start. I'm going to put it in the second gear for this. Handbrake off. 
Okay, now we need to set it at 540 on the PTO. Put it in forwards and away we go. So we'll open up the cedar, turn on the PTO, and then drop it down. So what a workhorse this machine really is, the TLE 4550 from Izeki. So if you're looking for a large open platform mechanical tractor, look no further. This is definitely the tractor for you. I've been amazed at how smooth it is, how easy to drive, and how versatile it is in all these different environments that we've used it in over the last couple of days. So if you've enjoyed this video, interest in this product, or maybe you've got an Izeki machine already, and you need parts and service or support for it, please go to our website, www.izeki.co.uk. There's a wealth of information there. Additionally, there's also a dealer locator. Put in your postcode and it will show you who your local dealer is and they'll be really happy to help you with anything you need or to bring out one of these wonderful machines for you to have a demonstration of. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've certainly enjoyed making it. It's been great fun. And as ever, we've been blown away by the performance of the machine.